Hello, Huntsville. Today, we start our series on local media personalities. Our first profile, Margot Gray, news anchor at WAFF 48 News. Hi, Margot. How are you doing Hi, today? Hi, Cynthia. I'm doing well. Good, good. So I have a few questions I'm going to be asking you today, okay. a little bit about your background. What were you like in your early years? Your background, where are you from? I'm the product of an immigrant family and was raised by a single mother. And I think a lot of that shapes who I am to this day. I'm born in Jamaica and then we left and came to Fort Lauderdale. And so Fort Lauderdale is where I call home. Again, just raised by a single mother and that comes with a lot of responsibility, I feel like when you're, I'm also an only child. So when you're raised by a single parent and an only child, you are really responsible early on. Being a latchkey kid, having to open the door myself and come home, feed myself, do my own homework, because she worked. She worked hard. She worked two, sometimes three jobs. My fondest memories is when mom could be home. When you're a child, you don't have control over the remote. So her thing was Jeopardy and the news. And so when we did get time to sit on the couch and just hang out, um, that's what we were watching. And you hate news at first. You're like, I'm a kid. I just want to watch some cartoons or I want to watch something else. But then you grow to love it. And then I saw these women in power suits and I'm like, man, I think that's what I want to do. So for me, early on, I kind of knew what I was going to do. And I got the opportunity in fifth grade to do the morning announcements. I thought I was real hot stuff at that <laughs> point. Ever since I've been shaping myself to do this, whether it was getting involved in drama or getting involved in um, TV production class in high school or, you know, interning at the local newspaper and all of those things. Words are important to me. That's where I excelled. I was never the science kid, the math kid, so words mattered. Got really involved in college and um, interned at a, a station in Orlando and really got bit by the TV bug because I for a, at one point I thought I was going into radio or newspaper but all those things seemed to be fading you know so nothing shy about you from the very beginning no no I'm not a shy person here's the deal with me if I'm being completely honest I do things that scare me and TV scares me TV is r real stuff real life that's why I like it so much is that it, it does keep me on my toes it does still scare me how did you end up in Huntsville so with TV market size is um, just how we operate how the industry operates so when you grow up in Fort Lauderdale Fort Lauderdale shares the market with Miami that's not a starting point for a new budding reporter you got to go to a smaller market and get your experience. I sent my resume out to 100 TV stations and I got called back by three TV stations. Wilmington, North Carolina, which was an ABC affiliate there. Did I know anything about Wilmington? No, but they called me back and said, well, we'd like to hire you on as a full-time reporter. And I said, oh, okay, this is it. I spent two years in Wilmington and it was a great experience. And then it was time to apply for new jobs. I started applying again and this time I have a little experience now. So I sent out my resume on a DVD and I sent it to 50 stations and I heard back from four um, and Huntsville was on the list. Got hired on for a two year contract and that two year contract has now turned into 14 years. It's also turned into a marriage. It's also turned into a home where I have a solid family, friends, and this has become my home. And I've been here 14 years now, this month, as a matter of fact. So you're pretty busy. So do you get involved in any local community service projects? So what people don't know about me is that I also am an etiquette instructor. So when people reach out, I'm usually teaching an etiquette class. I just taught an etiquette class a couple weeks ago. I've worked closely with Girls Inc. I just think it's really important to lift up our girls, our young girls, and I try to do that in what I do off camera. So just sitting down and just trying to bestow what knowledge I have, I try to give my time, and it's usually to young women. 
Wow. For mm -hmm. those who are listening who are inspiring to be like you, what would you say to them? Be inquisitive. You also have to be curious. You just have to have that curious nature about you. Things that just don't look right. Um, wanting to know more. It could be the most minute detail, but you want to know every detail. Getting out into your community, really knowing who lives around you, covering what's happening in this community and doing it well, that you garner respect, you do it with humility. Right. And then eventually, once you've done stories, the respect is there. They know that you're gonna be um, fair at the end of the day. 14 years, and I've been really, really um, blessed to be able to do this for this long in one market. I'm really lucky. I'm a lucky girl to be able to be here for 14 years and still people um, appreciate the work that I do. Listen to Hello Huntsville podcast today on all your favorite podcast platforms.